when you look back on the past 30 years, a lot has been achieved in China in terms of quantity. Uh, uh, China has become a much more wealthy country. But we see that China has a fast rising middle class. 50% of the world's middle class is presently living in the West. In 2020, 50% of the world's middle class will live in Asia. And that middle class uh, will have a clearer voice also within their own country. So it really changes the, the whole dynamic of relations between government and society. And I think that the Chinese leadership is very keenly aware of that, that that, that is, a, is a real challenge. And it re is really also, of course, a very good message uh, for China, a very important message for China. I definitely think uh, uh, that it, it, it gives more substance to the idea of Chinese dream and we see on a, a whole range of, in a whole range of fields that again China sets itself very high targets. Uh, the country has to work very hard uh, to fulfill uh, a Chinese dream and so uh, definitely I think we, this, is, this is in very, has been a very important plenum. It's been compared with historical plenums in 19, 1978. Uh, so uh, yes, there are new advances will be made, but they are of a different nature than in the past because China has arrived, achieved already so much. The nature of the challenge is a different one. And I think one characteristic of the, of the different China is that China is now very much integrated with the rest of the world. And that gives China a wonderful opportunity to show the rest of the world what China is all about. But it also means that the Chinese themselves get to know the world better. And that is a process of ideas going in two directions that cannot be stopped and perhaps that should not be stopped. Now, I do not immediately believe we are going to have a global civilization, uh, but it is now, in the next 30 years, we will see much more sharing of ideas. So really also a window of opportunity for China to transmit its ideas to the rest of the world. And this means that China should have a clear idea of what its values are, what are important Chinese values not just wealth creation, not just the success of the economy, but there should be other stories out there that are important Chinese stories for the world. I think one is a very evident one, and that is peace. China is interested in peace, in global peace, in regional peace. And that, I think, is a very important message because most regions of the world are regions with a long history of conflict. So this is a very important Chinese value. Uh, the second one, is diversity and not to impose your own ideas and your own system on others. So I think these are, these are some of the, 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 the first instruments that China can use to develop more ideas that it can share with the rest of the world.